Hi students, this is Alex here. In this problem, as a first part, we have to prove u is harmonic. And we have to find an analytic function f of z in terms of z. Let's take u and find ux, that is the partial derivative with respect to x. So sin x derivative is cos x and cos hy is a constant which we keep as it is. Plus 2 cos x derivative is 2 into minus sin x and y terms are constant so we keep this as it is. Plus 2x minus y square is a constant. Here 4y is a constant x derivative is 1. Now u x x this becomes minus sin x and cos hy we keep as it is plus 2 into minus cos x and sin hy stays as it is plus 2. Similarly uy, uy we keep sin x as it is and derivative of cos hy is sin hy plus we keep this constant 2 cos x sin hy derivative is cos hy. Again x square is 0 minus y square is minus 2y plus 4x is a constant y derivative is 1. When coming to u y y this is a constant sin x and sin hy is cos hy plus 2 cos x is a constant cos hy is sin hy and this becomes minus 2 and 4x becomes 0. Now if I take u x x plus u y y let us copy all the u x x term minus sin x cos h y minus 2 cos x sin h y plus 2 plus sin x into cos h y plus 2 cos x into sin h y minus 2. So minus sin x cos h y plus sin x cos h y gets cancelled. 2 cos x sin h y minus 2 cos x sin h y plus 2 and minus 2. After cancelling we get this as 0. So it is harmonic. It satisfies the Laplace equation. It satisfy the Laplace equation and hence Hence, it is harmonic. Now coming to the next part, you have to find f of z. So, f of z is u plus iv and f dash of z is ux plus ivx. From CR equations, we get ux equal to vy and ui equal to vx since we have only with respect to x so sorry since we have u given in our question we change this vx as minus u by sorry this is u is minus vx so this becomes v sorry ux minus i u y and this is our f dash of z using millet thomson method f of z becomes integral u x of z comma 0 dz minus i integral u y is u y of z comma 0 dz. Now we have to find what is u x of z comma 0 and u y of z comma 0. Wherever x is there we have to put z and y we have to substitute as 0. So this is cos z and this becomes 1. So we get only cos z as a first term. Then here when I put y as 0 here everything is 0 last term is 0 and we have only 2x that becomes 2z. Similarly, for u, y, when this is 0, everything is 0. When this is 0, 
we get 2 cos z because cos term becomes 1 2 cos z and here this last term is 4z and minus 2y becomes 0 so plus 4z so f of z becomes integral cos z plus 2z dz minus i integral 2 cos z plus 4z into dz. Now we are going to integrate this. This is sin z plus 2z square by 2 minus i 2 sin z plus 4z square by 2 plus c. So we can cancel these two and this becomes 2. So finally we got f of z in terms of z which is sin z plus z square minus i into 2 sin z plus 2 z square plus c. Thus we got the required analytic function f of z in terms of z.